my name is Emily and over the next eight weeks I'm going to be building this boat. Yesterday, I laminated the mast and I did not get enough glue inside the joints. You can see light through some of these cracks. So Clark is being amazing and uh, injecting epoxy into all the little holes. Hopefully we can salvage this mast without having to make another one. Make it nice and strong. I appreciate you. Well, we tried to route this. Made a big oopsie. So the whole seat's gonna get a little bit narrower. And we're just gonna round that over with a sander, I think. That is my daggerboard plug.
so close but then every time I try to do something we're so far away it's at that stage where it looks like a boat everything's the right shape we got all the pieces we're probably gonna end up doing a lot and a lot and a lot of sanding and then a lot of varnishing but uh, let me show the let me show you the last steps we've been working on today here are the two parts of my boat standing up against the wall here's the forward piece here's the aft piece today I attached this gasket with the contact cement so this rubber goes between the two holes and uh, helps create a water seal when they're together let's see what else we've got going on here we got my dolphin it's all installed fits nicely there's my uh, daggerboard plug there's gonna be a little loop makes the dolphins fin also makes a handle for pulling this in and out but I am pretty happy with how that turned out. It's just perfect fit. This, however, is not a perfect fit. I uh, did my fillets. I did them pretty lean, uh, so I would have the room I need to have the back seat come in and out. However, what I should have done is taken a piece of 9 mil uh, plywood covered it in tape and put it in here because it turns out this is too small of a gap to fit a 9 mil piece of wood which is what the seat is made out of so even though that part doesn't fit the uh, sides fit pretty well they fit up to this was the pencil mark where I outlined them as being the right place that one's right on it's pretty darn close to right on as well, but it just doesn't fit right there. So, sorry about the sirens. Um, I'm going to either have to sand this down and make the seat narrower just in that little place so it fits in, or I'm going to have to make this gap bigger, which I could do very slowly with a file but that's gonna take a long time so I really don't know I'm thinking I might do a little bit of both maybe because I still gonna put varnish and epoxy on this too so the, the seats gonna get even thicker and the space is gonna get even smaller so a little bit of filing because there is a little bit of a lump there Maybe a little bit of sanding on the seat, try to get this uh, fitting in real nice. Uh, 
also need to finish the fillets on the center seat all the way around here. Need to do the filleting on the inside. See, it's done there, but it's not done here and here. And then the uh, bulkhead, then that'll get fit in under here. We can close off the middle seat, and at that point, the middle seat will be done. The front seat will be just about done. There's a little bit more filleting I need to do on the inside of the front seat. And the back seat, hopefully I can get that fit in. Then I've got to drill two holes on each side because there will be hardware that holds the seat in there. Uh, and then the seat will be removable because remember this has to fit in here when it's stored. So the seat will go in the front and then the front will go in the back. And then it'll store all nice and tidy. So tomorrow looks like sanding and filing to get that to fit in there. And then also fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it inside there, fill it inside there. And um, yeah, then it's just a hell of a lot of sanding and finishing surfaces and installing hardware, um, the boom and the mast in the yard. Uh, those are in progress right now. Clark's helping me work on those. I've also got my dagger board here, which has been turned into a workbench, and my rudder. I've got to make a tiller. I'd like to make a real fancy tiller with some more sea life on it, but we've got so much other stuff to do on the boat. I think we're going to go off with a plain tiller, but I have a really solid piece of teak. Um, that I'm going to bring out, and that'll kind of be my carving project when I'm out there. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting to the finish line. Like I said, this is six weeks uh, on an eight-week schedule, so we're, we're doing okay. Uh, there's just so much other stuff to do, including laundry and cooking and things that we normally do every day. So, yeah, that's it. That's six-week progress. That's the boat. Ta-da! Check in with you guys next time when we do all the finishing work. Can't do it.